three, two, one. Today on the Chong Show, zombie mode in Call of Duty Black Ops, violent video games taken down from shelves, and of course, the big news. So stay tuned for all that and more, because this is the Chong Show. <laughs> What's up everyone, I got a challenge for you this week. It's simple, all you do is click that thumbs up button that's down below. So by clicking thumbs up, you're doing something great because it helps the show continue. So click thumbs up and let's hope we get over 1,000 thumbs up. Here we go with the headlining news. Just a few weeks back on the Chong Show, I stated that it would be awesome if we could have zombies back in a Call of Duty game. Most of the viewers agreed with me, but were wondering how the hell is Activision going to pull off another zombie game? Like, what would the zombies be this time around? Would they be Vietnam zombies? I'm not really sure, but I do have some awesome news. Best Buy in Canada has listed that four zombie map packs will be included with Black Ops. Now this was only coming out of Best Buy until Treyarch's manager said something over Twitter. He stated that four World at War zombie maps will be included with Black Ops as callback co-op levels. You can click the link in the description for the full story and details on this whole thing. Now moving on to the story of my friend Drew. He wanted to get on the Sony reality show The Tester, but something went totally wrong and it's still unexplained by Sony. He finished in third place. Thousands of you guys voted for him and that's awesome, but what the hell Sony, explain yourself, please. But thank you guys for voting for Drew, even though Sony fails big time on this one. You thought that was stupid, here is the real stupid news of the week. New Xbox 360 survival horror game Deadly Premonition has been denied in Australia. What happened is, it got refused classification. This actually happens a lot here in Australia where our government is kind of backwards. For some reason the government thinks that children are going to buy rated R games. So what does the government here do? They make the developers slightly tweak the game so it doesn't get rated R, and then the children can play it. Now that is some of the dumbest shit on this planet. Now let's head on over to the big news. Big news! Remember last year when night vision goggles were included with Modern Warfare 2? Well this year Activision decided to include another collectible for its prestige edition in Call of Duty Black Ops. So what is it this time around? It's an RC car with a spy camera on top. The possibilities are endless to say the least. I actually think this is kind of dumb, but it is pretty tempting to get this if you have the money. The Prestige Edition will retail at $149.99 American dollars. So get your pre-orders in right away, that is, if you want to spy on someone in a creepy way. You can read the whole story and get all the details about the Prestige Edition and the RC car in the link below. Another week, another question. What's up Gorilla Man? Oh, thank you, Gorilla Man. I'll just put on my reading glasses, even though they don't do anything. They're just a little addition. Okay, Gorilla Man asks us this week, what would you include as an add-on in a limited edition game, and what game would it be? These glasses don't really help me read, but you can put your answer down below in the comments, and you could be on next week's show. I'm Cham Chong. My accent is Australian. Rate thumbs up to help out the show, and here are the answers from last week's question.